Hello, and you're all very welcome to another session of Poetry with me, Mike DeFarry, and Music with Matt Gilson. I hope you're all doing well. Weather hasn't been all that good, but I'm sure the forecast is better and restrictions being eased gradually. So we're traveling a little bit more, seeing a few more people. And very soon, we'll all be back to normal, I hope. Whatever normal is. Okay, I'm going to start with a sad little poem called Little Boy Blue by Eugene Field. Little Boy Blue. The little toy dog is covered with dust, but sturdy and staunch he stands. And the little toy soldier is red with rust, and his musket moulds in his hands. Time was when the little toy dog was new, and the soldier was passing fair. And that was the time when our little boy Blue kissed them and put them there. Now don't you go until I come, he said, and don't you make any noise. So toddling off to his trundle bed, he dreamt of the pretty toys. And as he was dreaming, an angel song awakened our little boy Blue. Oh, the years are many, the years are long, but the little toy friends are true. I, faithful to little boy Blue, they stand each in the same old place, awaiting the touch of a little hand, the smile of a little face, and they wonder, as waiting the long years through in the dust of that little chair, what has become of the little boy Blue since he kissed them and put them there? And now we have a song from Matt. Thanks, Michael. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. Another beautiful summer's afternoon in Trim. Uh, this afternoon, I decided to sing a song from the pen of Thomas Moore, the author of all those melodies that give the title to him, Moore's Melodies. And uh, as a coincidence, if this song, um, Believe Me If All Those Endearing Young Charms was part of the repertoire of John McCormick who celebrated his birthday on the 14th of June which happened to be yesterday. So here is Believe Me If All Those Endearing Young Charms. Believe me if all those endearing young charms which I gaze on so fondly today were to change by tomorrow and fleet in mine arms like fairy gifts fading away. Thou would still be adored as this moment thou art, let thy loveliness fade as it will. And around the dear ruin, each wish of my heart would entwine itself burdenly still. It is not while beauty and youth are thine own, and thy cheeks unprofaned by a tear, that the fervor and faith of a soul can be known, to which time will but make thee more dear. No, the heart that has truly loved never forgets, and as truly loves unto the throes. As the sunflower turns on our God when he sets, the same look which she turned when he rose. And thank you. Thank you very much for that. Matt. And now we're going to have a poem that's very familiar. 
I learned it going to school and most people heard it as well going to school. It's by Robert Louis Stevenson and it's called My Shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all like proper children, which is always very slow. For he sometimes shoots up taller, like an India rubber ball. And he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play. And can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me. He's a coward, can't you see? I think shame to stick to nursie, as that shadow sticks to me. One morning, very early, before the sun was up, I rose and found a shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. That's Robert Louis Stevenson. And now we're going to have a special treat. Matt sings another part of his Percy French medley from Arizona in the 1980s with the Scottsdale Symphony Orchestra. And I'll show you some nice video of Trim Castle. So enjoy. I've an isolated house and the cow or two at grass. I've a plant garden running by the door. I've a stable for the hens and a shelter for the ass. And what could a man want more? I don't know, maybe so. But a bachelor is easy and he's free. And I've lots to look after and living all alone. There's no one looking after me. Oh, I know a little girl who is worth her weight in gold. And that's a taste and dowry, don't you see? And I mean to go and ask her as soon as I get old. If she'll come and have an eye to me. I don't know, will she though? But I'd like to have her sitting on me knee. And I'd sing like a thrush on a hawthorn bush. If she come and have an eye to me. Have you heard the bill the blooper of the town of Ballymuck? The times are going hard with him, and back the man is gruff. He just sat down to notice to his neighbours, one and all, as to how he'd like their company one evening at a ball. And when right now he was careful to suggest to them, if they found a hat of his convenient to the door, the more they put in whenever he requests them. Better would the music be for battering the floor With the joke of the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle oh, Up and in the middle like a heron on the griddle oh, Up, down, hands around, cross and turn the wall Oh, hat and green the gaiety and fill the floaters ball there was Mr. Dennis Doherty, who kept the run and dog, and little crooked Paddy from the Tyrrell Lock and Bug. Boys from every barony and girls from every art, and the beauty from his braids and the private ass and heart. And along with them came Box and Mrs. Cafferty. Little Mickey Mulligan was also to the fore. Ross Susan and Margaret Dorothy, the flower of Arden and Bunny and the pride of Petrobor. With the tooth of the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle, up and in the meat like a heron on the griddle, up, down, hands around, cross and to the wall. Oh, hadn't we the gaiety that filled the float?
Thank you very much, Matt. And I'll finish this week with a poem of my own. It's called If I Could Lay Down All Clothes I Ever Wore. And I imagined what fun you'd have if you could collect in one room all the clothes you ever wore. If I could lay down all clothes I ever wore, we could pilgrimage my garment trail. The suit bought the morning after mother's death, worn to three christenings. His top coat, inherited but never filled. By Mullingar, we might have reached a wedding outfit. By Longford, laughed at the broad lapels, the flares. The Shannon Bridge, festooned with floral shirts. And on the curlews, college gear. Crested uniforms, well-shone shoes to deaden the stiff climb into Sligo. Beyond, the last leg is all imported stuff. Parcel for Christmas. American fashions designed for better fed, loose on us, leaner. My New York styles played schoolyard football against Cahill Lynch's London chic. Pathetic baby bits softened the last miles before the ruin. Bought for my two older brothers who never wore them. Folded, wrapped, put away for me in desperate hope. I was lucky. I wore them out. And now Matt is going to sing us out with an old favourite. Thank you, Michael. It's a lovely afternoon again in Trim. And uh, I feel another song coming on. This time... <clears throat> It just occurred to me to celebrate the memory of a great Kells man. He was born in Kells in 1916 and he was a songwriter who became a Garda, wrote over 200 songs and the one I'm going to sing was by far the most popular one called the Isle of Inish Free. It was chosen by the makers of the film the Quiet Man, to be the theme music for the whole film. The film was in, filmed in Mayo, uh, I think in the early 1950s, in Kong, County Mayo, starred Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne. And um, I hope you'll join in and sing. It's a popular song called The Isle of Inish Free. I've met some folk who say that I'm a dreamer And I've no doubt there's truth in what they say But sure a body's bound to be a dreamer when all the things he loves are far away And precious things are dreams unto an exile They take him over land across the sea Especially when it happens He's an exile From that dear lovely Isle of Inishbury And when the moonlight peeps Across the rooftop of this great city wondrous though it be I scarce would feel its wonder or its love 
after I'm once again back home in Innisfree I wander all green hills through sleepy valleys and find a peace no other land could know. I hear the birds make music fit for angels and watch the rivers laughing as they flow and then into a humble shack I wander my dear old home and tenderly behold the folk I love Around the turf fire gather On bended knee The rosary is told But dreams don't last Though dreams are not forgotten And soon I'm back to stir reality and though they paved the footways here with gold dust I still would choose my Isle of Inishree I still would choose my Isle of Inish Free Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. So that's it for this week. And thank you very much. Myself and Matt hope to be back again next week. And very soon we hope to be there in person to entertain you and be entertained by you. So in the meantime, take care. God bless.